Rebels, welcome back. In this episode, I am not going to drag this to 40 minutes, I promise. And I'm going to try something different, okay? Although I do like to do, uh, well, long forms of content because most of the time I freestyle. I just pull out whatever I have, whatever is relevant for the day, and I just freestyle, right? And I do plan on doing guides. Well, whenever I do guides, they will be broken down and also explained. So they will be long and thorough. All right. However, I plan on doing short forms, seven, ten minutes. Okay. So if I have three, four topics, instead of putting them in one video, I know our attention span, right? It's difficult. So I plan on breaking them down into ten minutes chunks. Okay. For people who can better absorb. All right. So again, welcome back. And in this episode, I'm not going to talk about anything that you're looking at. Okay. I'm not going to talk about the charts. However, Things don't look good, as I mentioned. Who am I to say, right? But shoot, bro. Bitcoin is pretty much hanging at 20k. So, yeah. I think it will go below 20k. I mean, that's how it is. Okay. I'm going to talk about Sif Chain. That's the topic. And why Sif Chain sucks. Why I decided to pull out of Sif Chain. Okay. You can, it's up to you if you want to invest in it. However, I have a different point of view and I'm going to show you the exact thing. All right. Um, just wanted to put this out there real quick. So some of the list, well, not Luna. I don't know. Why is MTV back here? So I thought I deleted it. But i um, going to keep an eye on Chainlink. If I really want to pick up some later on after multiple crashes and dips. Chainlink, maybe Ethereum, of course. Matic. Mm, I don't know. Cadena yet. One, not so sure. Of course, BTC, XPR, Luna, nope. I mentioned earlier on, I'm looking at Luna because I'm trying to get rid of my bags. It just took a bad dump, even after the second listing. Man, disaster. Anyways, so I want to close this, okay? Topic, Sif Chain. Hmm? Let's see what's up. So currently, Sif Chain, <laughs> I talked about Sif Chain once, I think so. I'm not too sure. Let me see. I mentioned about Sif Chain that um, if you have if you have uh, Ethereum lying around that you're you're probably not doing anything and the Ethereum fees were significantly high in the blockchain of course. So here this was the one I'm getting a 300 person APR on my ETH and here's how to do it. That's when I discovered Sif Chain about three months ago, and it's pretty decent if you look at the the interface and everything pretty smooth it's still in better nate right uh, better mode right now right so i put my eat to work at that time okay you could literally import from every single chain and get a decent apr okay they are down right now it was about 300 person and stuff seven ones okay and then recently whatever probably several weeks ago they wanted to play some fancy thing the pmtp whatever i guess they changed it yeah there you go PM, TP, whatever that stuff is, man. <laughs> Whenever you don't understand the jargons and it's too complicated, there's a problem, okay? So, like I said, if you're interested in this, for whatever reasons, feel free to invest. That's your decision. I'm here to give you my point of view, my two cents, okay? And uh, and what made me de uh, decide to get out of this pool, uh, out of the Sif chain, all right? Some people might argue because Sif chain is pretty bottom right now, if you look at it. Right? Oh my god. <laughs> it's just going down bad. And the volume, 55k. It's pretty poor. But um, if you look at the whole chart, dude, it's it's a disaster. I'm sure a lot of um, people mentioned, um, YouTubers mentioned about <laughs> Sif Chain. It was... I don't know. If you wanna... Let's check out the CoinGecko. And it's a disaster. Right? Proven Sif Chain. Yeah, dude, just just insanity. <laughs> Look at the chart. This is just for the past. OK, this is only 24 hours. But if you look at 90 days or even 180 days. Oh, man, we were at 17 cents just about a month ago, two months ago, 17 cents. And right now it's sub three. Oh, no, it's sub what? Two, four. Whatever, man. That's just nasty. But again, 
keeping the price so people might argue oh what if i just buy right now and wait for it to hit, hit all-time high which was a dollar i guess that's, that's ridiculous or wait for it to even hit 10 cents or 20 cents right maybe but maybe it might not it probably could even go further down it could go to zero 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 whatever micro yeah i've seen a lot of tokens have, go that way so you have to be very careful i've made a mistake in the past thinking every coin could go to all-time high but no that's not the reality 99 percent wouldn't even make it okay so i am not gonna shift chain for now i didn't have a significant amount but the whole thing dropped so bad even if you had a couple of thousand it would have turned into hundreds of dollars that's a that's how bad it is right so i pulled out of my pool recently okay so i'm just trying to give you a quick overview before i tell you a few other things uh okay so they had decent but the whole thing was dropping literally you were feeding the machine that's what was happening someone was making money if you were losing money where were the coins going right okay so not a fan anymore okay there are probably better options evmos probably might do well i'm gonna get another video like i said i'm gonna break this down okay so i'll create a video on juno if moss maybe but um safe chain not my thing okay another reason forget about the chart the disaster that's there the coin the price okay second reason if you look at it the partners i talked about this previously i don't like some of the partners here especially this master ventures if you've heard about kyle chessy hey again i have to tell you what i'm seeing right if you're partnered with some of the venture capitalists here well that's your thing but i have to show you the most obvious red flags right and there are some others i mentioned uh, previously ngc i don't i'm not a fan of a121 i know a couple of peeps here i'm not a fan of so why matters first of all dude <laughs> these are vcs and partners right and i try to stay away from stuff that have vcs and partners but if there are some decent ones however when i already s when i see M master ventures that's like a red flag for me and now let me tell you i'm not gonna dig into any other investors here okay but i'm just gonna show you just exactly master ventures so master ventures i, I believe is kyle chassis right kyle chassis is a dude let's actually find him here kyle chassis okay there you go all right so that's kyle chassis all right he's the he's the one behind master ventures and he has some shady past literally so let's see if i can find any videos He's also a YouTuber, though, which, well, I don't pay much attention. But um, let me see if I can type Kyle Chessy scam. Scammer. Okay, there's something like that. I've seen something by, here, paid. I was involved, well, I wasn't involved, but I've been around when paid hack happened and whatever thing. Okay, then there was this octopus, some protocol that had the same thing. Okay, but one thing. Let me see. It was by one of the dudes. Hey, see this? Master Ventures. Just check out some of the videos, okay? Let me see if I can find Bad Crypto. Real quick. Bad Crypto. I've seen a video once. Okay, here is it. Here. Kyle Chast, CEO of Paid Network, Octopus Protocol, exposed. Okay? I'm Jesse. Okay, I don't want to play the volume or voice. <laughs> it's probably too crazy loud but um here so he's here okay by the way i don't know the individual i don't care he's he's in thailand whatever he can do i'm just telling you what i've seen so he's the advisor here and this video was from october 25th 2021 so a couple of months back uh, just check out where octopus protocol is right now so yeah that's his twitter account right helping you stay etc cetera, etc cetera. And if you look at um, some of the stuff, there are some articles posted online on this. How the hack happened and, um, dude, it's, it's just shady. And on top, oh wow, can you explain why the exact same thing happened with paid and both have Kyle Chess involved in it? Okay, not this. Here, just Kyle Chessy scam on Google and you'll see a couple of stuff. On paid Kyle Chessy's classic Slimy Slithering. They also shill and promote every project that paid founder Kyle Chassis is involved with. It honestly would not shock me to find out. Man, there's quite a bunch of red flags, okay? I mean, why don't people just Google? 
the project name and scam or scammer or whatever. Not everything is accurate, but you can still find quite a bunch of stuff. All right, look at this. What is this? Couch leeches inmate. <laughs> wow. Publicpolicerecord.com. There you go. Well, again, I don't care if you had some issues in the past. It says, um, yeah, some errors, whatever, whatever it is, man. So, um, yeah, it's, it looks like it's a long time back. Gone seven. So when I see any of these, okay, it says, what is this? It says burglary, enter without permission. Ouch. 10,000 bucks. Okay, anyways. So I am not here to point out any of these other stuff, but that's all I got. Okay, so that's Master Ventures for you, ladies and gents. So I have to be careful, right? You never know, if, um, unless you know the vesting period and all that. You keep buying stuff and then you see everything is dumping because the VCs are dumping. You got to figure out what's happening, right? When something is pumping, you got to figure out why it's pumping in a market which is dumping. So people need to question all those things. So yeah, that's all I got for you for Sift Chain. If you have any questions, let me know. Nothing personal. Don't get emotional about this. Okay, I'm just being straight up. <laughs> there might be some other options in the you know in the future, but for now, everything is pretty brutal. If you look at some of the other tokens here, oh my god, main Neta. Did you see what happened to Neta? Where is Neta? Neta is at forty one dollars. When it was given away, well, as so ad drop, it was about two thousand dollars and above, right? And then I have one plus Neta. I dollar cost average from a thousand dollars i believe oh my god look at this and don't even ask all the pools are bleeding so right now i only hold a couple of uh, well Juno and evmos and stuff which i plan on getting more but there's no bottom yet so yeah i'll keep you guys posted all right so see you in the next video